All I talk is crack, I can get the brick out Yo, it's crazy reminiscing every decision I made Yo, I was fucked up I put in the work and never, no nigga can ever just say that I looked up What's up guys? Crack back with another pack We're back at it again uh, with the YNW Melly case We found some things, me and a... Uh, uh, individual by the name of Beatrix Kiddo. Again, I mentioned her on my last video. She's been helping me a lot behind the scenes and she uh, read some things in there and brought it to my attention. And I started to look into it myself. And I seen that I believe, we, we actually believe that the FBI is trying to prove that rap LLCs uh, are organized street gangs. So I'm gonna uh, I'm go over it, bring up some paperwork within the YNW MLE case and try to make it make sense to you guys like uh beatrice made it make sense to me so shout out to you beatrice you the plug i appreciate you all right let's get to that now i want you guys to understand that everything that we that i discussed today is primarily based off of what we discovered in reading this these uh, depositions out of this ynw melly paperwork there is a lot of discussion on whether these llc's are a front for street gangs gang affiliation is also on trial here because the FBI is trying to prove that these rap LLCs are a way for the street gangs to run organized crime units, which ultimately launder money and sell illegal goods and services. The FBI is now in Florida because of the 438 and the army gangs are the shooting at the main malls where the tourists go. It's the same problem with FBG Duck getting shot downtown. The luxury stores down there and businesses line politicians' pockets to keep these areas affluent and safe. You see what I'm saying? Organized crime is spilling out to the communities and it's into the main affluent parts of the town because of the transfer of wealth. The FBI is concerned that rap LLCs are funding paid hits. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Rappers might come up and be from a gang or be from a hood with friends in a gang, and then they start LLCs, limited liability company. This is a flag to the special investigations unit. And the FBI, because they now are watching the LLCs and able to tie it back to illegal activities through the street gangs, i.e., what we see happening with 100K track artists. Wisdom Williams, AKA Wiz the Wizard. Now you guys that follow me probably remember when I brought him up in the 100K track files where he's another individual connected to 100K track because he was signed to 100K management before his untimely demise. Wiz the Wizard's death is surrounded with mystery because some say he was chopped up we now know he was left abandoned and we learned through the Melly trial so far that Wiz homicide is still inactive open investigation Wiz the wizard and Kodak Black have a long time history they're birthday twins Wiz was once in 99 when Kodak was pulled over and charged as a jit so Wiz is Z10 Kodak rep Zo. Zone 10 is called a violent street gang by the detective. The deposition said Wiz and Melly traded tattoos. Wiz got YNW tatted on him and Melly got Z10 tat. Now, if you look on the screen, you'll see page 17. And this is where we're getting the information to kind of show you where everything is kind of connecting. And you're going to understand why these rap uh, groups and these rap LLCs are getting targeted and, fall un and falling under the RICO Act. Now, as you can see, page 18 on the screen, the 40th Avenue Army originally ynw gang melly's lower blood branch which is elevated to g shine through fame see what i mean so what they're doing is g shine is recruiting the younger uh we'll say clicks or gangs within different states through via social media etc etc and what they do when they do that is they make them prove themselves by sending money and such and such. It's almost like the old motorcycle gangs where they have branches in each state. But now that the, the feds and the police are now keeping the eye on them because they see that they're funneling this money strictly through the rap LLC. So I want you guys to be careful about who you who you make your LLC with and, and, and especially the, the gentlemen that you bring into your circle because they can have ties outside of that and get you kind of caught up in some stuff while you got your career on the line and you find yourself in a RICO act that you had nothing to do with or nothing that of no knowledge of, i.e. 1090 Jake, allegedly. There is a great deal of discussion of the nature of the structure of gangs. I want to speak on a woman named Raven Liberty. Raven Liberty is an attorney. Raven Liberty 
is a name you'll see come up a lot in this case study because people might not know or understand that Raven Liberty has been a lawyer for Kodak and gang members for nearly a decade, roughly since 2013 or 14. She is their go-to lawyer. In law, lawyers like Raven can't handle it all. They call in a heavy hitter once the crimes are too far out of their league. This is where the Bradford Cohen team comes in. He might be part of the label money support, but Bradford Cohen handled Kodak's serious charges and his presidential pardon. This cost millions. People do not get pardons for free. Some of the money exchanged in public relations and the legal systems are passed around for kickback money, so pockets are lined to sway a decision. The legal system is very incestuous. Everyone is in bed. And the lawyers with the biggest and best networks win because they have paved the way with gold. Raven Liberty could never handle a case like this on her own. Raven Liberty has been Track's lawyer and Track's wife, Adria, used her in the name change in 2021. Now, the reason I bring up Raven Liberty is because Raven raises the question of homosexuality in gangs. Look at page 49 that I have on the screen. I believe this is significant because there is a rumor. I'm not going to say it, but I believe we all know what the rumor is between Sack and Melly. It was a homosexual rumor. Um, when I heard her bring this up, I was kind of floored, but I couldn't connect that to the rumors. You know, like when a person has a rumor and they go about it, you can't connect that. She wasn't there. She didn't know this is a rumor. It's like the defense is setting up a scenario where G-Shine was running Melly's mind and the gang code that Melly lived by. Sack was breaking code and trust. I know this sounds insane, but this case is high profile and worth more than 500000 so far, and we haven't even seen it hit trial yet, which could take a good month or two depending on the witness list. But it's the defense's job to raise doubt. Doubt is going to secure a hung jury or get you that one juror that says not guilty. Now, my question would be, why would Miss Raven bring up these allegations and these rumors in this case? And then her by her being Track's personal lawyer, also Kodak's lower personal lawyer, it just raises uh, an eyebrow at me. And I just wanted to bring it to you guys' attention. Now, I know you've been checking out the backdrop um, and seeing each where it says GKB and it keeps changing to East State. Now, these are the individuals that you're seeing that are under rap LLCs that I could pull up. Uh, you know, there are so many more of them, but these are the ones that I just picked out of. And what's happening now is the feds and the local police are watching these videos and they're put two or two together and they're connecting you guys through Instagram and the pictures that you take. Again, i.e. Uh, 1090 Jack. And I want to shout out to 1090 Jack. I don't have no problem with you. And I just want you to be careful because this is just the what you said. It really stuck out to me. And I want to play that right now. All right, let's get to that now. Let me say this for the record. I truly believe that 1090 Jake never saw this coming. And I do not believe, do not believe that he is cooperating in any fashion. Okay, let's get to that now. What's up, guys? Right now, we're going to take a brief intermission. So you can subscribe. We're trying to get our subscribers up. Uh, we're getting a lot of watch time. Uh, for our subscribers. We're going to try to get our subscribers up. And follow us at Audio Crack 22 on all platforms. Thank you. Y'all know I've been in contact with Track since we did the interview. I stay up to date on the Melly case. I'm just honestly as shocked as y'all that I'm actually brought into it because this is for life. This isn't something that goes away. Like my name is literally a pot of the YNW Melly case all because I did an interview with Track. Now, for whatever reason you said that, 1090 Jake, you said that, and I believe you. I believe that. And that's the reason why we've been kind of on track like we've been, because we feel the same way. We feel like every time someone gets around him, something bad happens to him. And if you guys haven't checked out my uh, 100K track playlist, go go check that out. And you'll see all of the people around him that either passed away or ended up in a Rico. And now it's looking like that's what they're trying to do with you, Jake. So my advice is, and I know you probably don't need it, but just from YouTuber to YouTuber, just uh watch it watch yourself and you know i mean uh, good luck to you bro you know i hope everything goes right with, with whatever it is that that goes on and however you got in this then i mean we all learn from our mistakes i mean you're a street dude you'll understand how to learn from your mistakes so um that's the really the reason why we bring all of this track information 
to the forefront. And also we cover this type of content. So another young individual out there looking to do music or, or do something better with their life, don't get around an individual like this. Or if they do, they can they can sense it. So over here, we're just trying to prepare them to, to understand who they're around and keep their eyes wide open so they don't fall victim to the system and, and the RICO charges like these other individuals. Like I said, it's another individual by the name of Slat Zai. He ended up having to turn himself in. That's another 100K signee that that just threw his life away, maybe. So we don't know what the charges are or, what, or nothing like that, but we know that he has to turn himself in, and he was a little sick about that. So, I mean, if you look at it, you got the Rico with 30 Grimy, 100K management signee. You have the Rico with O Block. They are 100K signees. You have the Rico with Hot Boy. That's another 100K signee. You have Wiz the Wizard. Rest in peace. That's a 100K signee. King Von, rest in peace. That's a 100K signee. And then we have YNW Melly that is fighting for his life. So, like I said, be aware of your surroundings and be aware of the individuals that you come in contact with. I mean, ask some questions. Make sure that they meet your family. Make sure that they have your best interests. I mean, without them having your best interests, there's no reason why they should work for you. Again, a manager is someone that works for you. You pay for them. You hire them and you fire them. Until next time. All I talk is crank, I can get the rick out. Get the rick out. Get the rick out. Get the Yo, it's crazy reminiscing every decision I made Yo, I was fucked up I put in the work, can never, no nigga can never just say that I looked 